Tonight we want to welcome Ms. Lottie Beebe, who is with the Louisiana Board of Elementary and Secondary Education, the Bessie Board. Uh, and uh, we'd like to ask you as we talk about the stresses that teachers and administrators are facing uh, in implementing the education reforms, uh, we know that affects our students. What aspects of the new education reform uh, forms do you think will have the greatest impact on improving student achievement in the classroom? Uh, well, good evening, everyone, and certainly I want to preface my comment by saying that I am an educator with 20 years' experience. I am in the trenches, and uh, when I sought the position on DESE, I did meet with constituents that within 15 parishes, and I made a commitment to those individuals that I would embrace responsible school reform. I do know that many of our critics would say that I'm anti-education reform. I embrace responsible education reform, and as I look at the policies that uh, many of those I serve with on Nancy have uh, approved, um, I uh, reject many because when we talk about education, education, and I know many of you as students, how often were you asked or told that education is the key to your success? And so um, I value education, and as we move forward with what has been presented, uh, I don't see uh, equitable learning opportunities for all children. I think much of the reform, many of the reforms will siphon away uh, money from uh, the uh, traditional systems. Uh, we had an opportunity, and we missed it, to transform our public education system, the, the uh, traditional system, if you will. And um, so uh, going uh, forward with the reforms, with this question, because it was uh, given to us in advance, I tried to think of something positive. And I will say with the, with the education reform presented, it certainly has created a debate, a discussion, and we recognize, those of us within the trenches, we recognize that uh, many within the public have uh, greater expectations and they want more from traditional systems. So we are going to have to strengthen our uh, process, if you will, uh, but also recognize, and certainly our elected officials here, uh, we would ask them to also uh, recognize the fact that we live in a culture that, uh, uh, that more or less creates a, a, a dependence on entitlements. And, uh, you know, it's so easy for uh, individuals to say uh, no to education opportunities. Many of our educators, if, if the elected officials would gather educators at a table so that we could present the real concerns in the trenches, the fact that our children come from impoverished families, uh, many dysfunctional environments. And until we recognize that and we are proactive in helping these children in meeting their individual needs, we're not going to make the gains in education that we aspire to. Uh, so um, I will say the fact that the education reform has, has forked the debate. Um, I do know that many of the reforms and, uh, and a teacher evaluation, for example, that's my responsibility within my school district. I have not met an educator yet who says, that he or she is against evaluations. We have evaluated teachers for years. The, the problem is we have uh, implemented a teacher evaluation program that many hundreds of education researchers have stated that, uh, it, that, the, that there, there are flaws. Uh, the fact is, um, uh, in fact, we, we piloted, say, Morton Parish was a district that piloted a rubric Dr. Strong's rubric that was discorded during, after the pilot and we went to Charlotte Danielson's rubric and uh, she, as the architect of her instrument, has indicated that a uh, school district before implementation should take at least a year to assess and evaluate. So what I'm saying is with the reforms they have been implemented too quickly, our people we're moving forward, we're, we're going to lose teachers. Uh, just to, to respond or rebut what has been stated uh, from the, or presented from the Department of Education, that we're not seeing 
an increase in teacher attrition. I can speak to the concern that I have in St. Martin Parish. August to, until today, I've lost 20 teachers, and I have never had that experience within my 10 years in the Human Resources Department. So I would love to debate further those individuals, the spin doctors at the Department of Ed, to say that we're not going to see an 